Hello everyone. So in the last video we have seen the disnormalization step and we got this result. Today we will go into the multiple fully connected layers. Okay, so let me divide this. Um, the output of the normalization was this. 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and let's call it x, uh, which has a dimension of rs by e, or 3 by 2, input size by e, embedding dimension. So what happens is that behind the scenes, PyTorch creates some random tensors, namely w1, p1, w2, and b2 and the blue one has a dimension will have a dimension of e by e b1 will have a dimension of e and e just a which we can make into e by one the blue two uh, has a dimension of e by e and b1 will have a dimension of e which we can make into e by one. Okay, so this is what happens behind the scenes. So there's going to be a first fully connected layer. So in the first fully connected layer, the x will be multiplied by w1 and added with b1. So the w1 is a tensor of something like this. W1 is a tensor multiplied by x then plus B1. X1 has a dimension of 3 by 2. The blue has a dimension of 2 by 2. But we are going to take transpose for consistency because we did take transpose before. Plus 2 by 1 transpose. So this will be 3 by 2 when you multiply them. The dimension output dimension will be 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2. And the results, these are dimensions, the result will be 3 by 2. So the output of the fully connected layer will have a dimension of 3 by 2. And I did calculate this. I the Tensor is actually something like this 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So this output goes into a ReLU function, rectify linear unit function, and every value in this tensor that is negative will become zero. Every positive value in this tensor will not change and let's call the output x r the dimension is i s by e so there's going to be a second fully connected layer in this second fully connected layer x r will be multiplied by W2 and added with B2. XR uh, is a tensor and um, this is also a tensor plus B2. XR has a dimension of 3 by 2. W, W2 has a dimension of 2 by 2. But we will take the transpose for consistency. B2 has a dimension of 1 by 2 and we would also take the transpose again so this is 3 by 2 that output dimension of this multiplication added with 1 by 2 and we will end up with a tensor um, of shape 3 by 2 and I did calculate this this tensor this tensor is this
0 0.5, 0 0.5, this 0 0.5. And let's call this output 1. So remember, the data that goes into the fully connected layer is added with the output, the output of the multiple fully connected layers. Data that goes into the multiple fully connected layers will be added with the uh, output. So the final fully connected layer output, let me call it FF out, is going to be X plus output 1. And I did calculate this. It is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, minus 0 0.4, and 0 0.4, and 0 0.4. And it also has a dimension of IS by E. And this is what goes into the final normalization that we will take a look in the next video. Thank you.